Uh, today I'll be reviewing Johnny Cash, The Life by uh, Robert Hilburn. Um, I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. He's always been one of my favorite musicians. Uh, love the movie Walk the Line. That's where I really learned a lot about his life. Before that, you know, I didn't really know a whole lot about him, just that I really loved his music. I was by no means a super fan, so I never really, really read much about him. Um, so that movie really introduced me to a lot of what Johnny Cash's life was like. So um, last year I was actually in Nashville for work, and when I was going through one, um, one of the stores on their main strip uh, where the music venues were, I noticed this uh, biography on Johnny Cash. I thought, well, that might be interesting. I really enjoyed Walk the Line. Um, love his music. Read a, let's read a book about him. And I'm really glad I did. Um, it's one of the better biographies I've ever read. It's very interesting, very thorough, explores all the positives and negatives of his life. By no means is it trying to gloss over um, bad stuff he did and kind of negative aspects of his personality or bad periods of his life when he was um, not good to the people around him, be it family, friends, co-workers, that type of stuff. Um, but first off, I'd say like if you're a Johnny Cash fan and if you haven't read this book, I'd really recommend it. If you saw the movie Walk the Line and you really enjoyed it, I think you honestly would enjoy this book. Um, a few ways the book is different. Obviously, Walk the Line kind of cuts off when him and June um, Carter get engaged to be married and kind of stops there. Obviously, this book goes all the way until his death. Um, it also covers a lot more of his childhood, a lot more stuff more in depth. Where you know, obviously, the movie where it's I can't remember how long Walk the Line is. Let's just say it's two hours. There's only so much stuff you can cover in a two-hour movie versus this book is about 650 pages. So obviously it goes into a lot more detail. Learned a lot of stuff about Johnny Cash I didn't know. Um, like especially his childhood, how he got started in the music, um, where he recorded his first songs, what his inspirations were, what his um, co-workers were. One thing I found really interesting, because um, I am not musical by any means, um, but it's interesting how the book talked about who his various producers were throughout his career and how much of an impact they had on his music. And um, as somebody that's not an expert on the music industry, I found it really fascinating of how big of an impact the producer of an album and a song has on the final quality of it. Where, you know, you kind of think like, well, if somebody's a super talented musician, it should really matter who the producer is. And I think this book does outline the case a lot. The rock musician producer pairing can make for some magical stuff. And even with the best musician in the world, if he's paired with a producer that maybe does it, not saying that, that person's not good at their job, but maybe personality wise they don't match, or they, their musical tastes are just different somehow, they have different visions, the finished product's just not going to be as good. So it's very interesting to kind of, as this book explored, the various producers that Johnny Cash used for his career and how he could almost break those into like different stages of his career and how his music changed as he worked with different people. Um, obviously, a lot of the book deals with his personal life. If you've watched Walk the Line, um, you know that he um, battled drug issues for a lot of his life and it really explores um, how that impacted various parts of his life and how the people around him had to deal with that from his kids to his first and second wife to his various people in his band, his producers, just his friends. Um, it's just a really fascinating book. So I'd, I'd say like one, if you're into, into Johnny Cash, read this book. If you like Walk the Line, I'd recommend reading this book. And if you're just into music in general, I think this book gives you a good view of how the music industry works. So I would definitely highly recommend Johnny Cash, The Life by Robert Hilburn. Um, my question to the viewers for this video is, um, have you read any biographies on musicians that you really enjoyed? If so, let me know in the comment section below. Because also, this is the first time I've ever read a biography on a musician. And it kind of may be interesting, maybe reading some more in the future. So I'd be definitely interested in your recommendations. As always, I really appreciate it if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that sort of good stuff. And I hope everybody is doing well during this current quarantine. Um, stay safe and healthy. Keep on reading, and I'll see you the next time.